All right, um, this is Mike Masuda. Um, I've been trying to figure out how to do this for quite a while, and um, I, the logic eluded me until just now in terms of um, playing pool and doing uh, bank shots off of the edge of the table. Um, so let's say you want to get this ball into this corner pocket here, but um, you don't want to hit it directly this way. I mean, you can, but let's say you want to bounce it off of this, uh, this side rail over here. How do you do that? Okay, and so the steps, as uh, I understand it, are as follows. Um, the first thing you gotta do is get your line of sight of the ball going into the hole there. And um, on the back side of the ball, you have to imagine a tangent line, that red line going perpendicular to that. So this thing right here uh, is 90 degrees to the direction of the ball that the ball needs to go, uh, you know, to go into the hole. And then you envision a point on the back side of the ball there uh, to hit, okay, with the cue ball. Now this would work directly. If you just hit this ball to hit there, then the ball will go in. But let's say you want to angle, uh, bank it off of the, uh, the, the wall over here. Then we continue on. We do the following. You imagine a line going from the blue dot here, going straight down this way. So this is parallel to the side of the table over here to this point. And what you do is you lay your Q uh, stick down, to, down this way and you eyeball a position between the two balls that is halfway in between. And so you can do that here. You eyeball position halfway between the two balls there. This is probably the hardest part. You have to take your cue ball, uh, cue stick and angle it like this I've seen people do this when they're playing the game. And then from there, you draw a line from the point here through the halfway point. Now, this is just a guide here. What you have to do with this now is imagine taking the cue stick and moving it parallel such that it is now lined up with the ball, the cue ball over here. Right? And so once this happens, this line and this line are parallel to each other. And you imagine now, as you hit the ball, the cue ball this way, it's going to go like this, all right? And the reasoning behind this is because you have this angle here, down here in red, being equal to this angle over here because it's parallel lines. And that angle has to equal this one over here because of law of reflection. And that's basically it. That's how the ball, you hit it at this point here, aim for this point, the cue ball will bounce off this way, hit the blue dot here, and the, uh, uh, the second ball will go into the hole. That's it.